OK, so in this example, um, again, we can't, can't technically go ahead and solve for y. So we're just going to take uh, d over dx on both sides. All right, and when I do that, though, you can see that I have to do the um, power rule. d over dx of a constant is going to be 0. Over here, I'm going to have 2x times y uh, plus x squared dy dx minus, just make sure I use my brackets since I know that this is going to be an expression. I want to make sure I put these in a group using a grouping symbol. So therefore, that's going to be 1 times y cubed plus x 3y squared dy dx. And again, we can eliminate this bracket if we want to. Just make sure we distribute the negative times both of those terms. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just make that a negative, and then make sure that one was negative. Does everybody see what I did? And I just distributed the negative. No, you didn't see. OK. This is negative times that expression. So just doing distributive property. This times a negative is turns to a negative. This times a negative makes that a negative as well. So I just removing my brackets. I could rewrite another step. I'm just trying to save myself a little bit of time, and you guys as well. So again, now in this case, I have the, all these expressions, but I have these extra dy. So I'm going to keep the dy dx's on the same side. Actually, you know what? Let's just get them over here. So if I subtract this term, x squared dy dx, and if I add this term, Add them over here, I am going to obtain negative x squared dy dx plus x times 3. Well, let's just write the 3 in front. 3xy squared dy dx equals, now what's left over? I have a 2xy minus y cubed. OK, so I got the dy dx's on the same side. And now we just need to solve. So again, we're going to want to factor out the dy dx. So I get a negative x squared my, um, plus 3xy squared equals 2xy minus y cubed. I'm now going to divide by that. That's, this is not mathematical notation by any means. I'm just saving myself. I'm just showing you guys what I do. You could easily go from this step to this step. I'm just showing you what I did. Okay? So I divide by that term on both sides, and I would write 2xy minus y cubed all over negative x squared plus 3xy squared. Follow the steps. Reassuring. <laughs> 